Hi, my name is Vibeke and welcome to Diving Ducks Crochet. So today I want to show you how to do a poncho with just four granny squares. And you can use any granny square in the world, you don't have to do, do this uh, granny square like I did. You can also uh, just crochet a square piece of any stitch or you can also knit them. It's totally up to you. I'm just using a green square like this. And then I made four and then I attached them together. So let me show you how to do it. For the yarn, I've used this super bulky yarn. This is 100% acrylic. I don't know the brand because this was just something I have lying around. But again, you can use any yarn in the world. Just measure the granny squares. I will give you the measurements later in the tutorial. But that's just measure it and crochet until it's big enough. So you can use totally the yarn you like and just use the hook the yarn recommends. You won't be needing a lot of materials for this. I've just used a 7mm hook for this super bulky yarn and then some scissors and a tapestry needle. So I begin with making a granny square. I begin with a magic ring in the middle and then work my way out with three double crochet and then a gap, three double crochet and a gap, and then work my way out uh, with repeating these two rows. So double crochet in every stitch, and then increase in the corners, and then chain one, skip one gaps with double crochets in the middle, and then again increase in the corner. Just repeat these two rows again and again until the granny square is wide enough. I will measure it. It is 46 centimeters wide on both sides, of course. Um, I will not be showing you how to do this granny square because there are thousands of tutorials on how to do granny squares on YouTube, also on my channel. There are also a few tutorials on granny squares. And you can do it with any granny square you want in the world. So you don't have to choose this boring one. <laughs> I think it's pretty okay but you can choose any one you like. So when you made this granny square, you will cut the yarn and pull the loop through and then you can weave in the end on the back side, of course. So just like this and then weave in on the back side. Then we have the granny square all done. Then you make another three granny squares. I cheated a little, so I have all already made mine. But you will now sew them together. Whoops. So lay them down flat like this. Grab a new piece of yarn. A pretty yarn, long piece of yarn. And then you thread your needle and fasten your yarn, of course, on the back side of one of the granny squares. And remember, you have to do four granny squares in total to make this work. So I'm just attaching the yarn on the back side of the granny square and all the way in the corner. And then I will sew them together. I will just zoom in a little bit so everyone can see what I'm doing. So to stitch these up, I will do the mattress stitch. So the mattress stitch is where you go in between the two layers and then from down and up the opposite side. and then just pull through. It will make sense in a minute, I promise. So now we have the yarn over here. And then you go from this side in between the two layers and from the bottom and up the opposite side. And then just pull through. And then again, in between the layers, find the bottom of the stitch and up the opposite side. And again, 
from the bottom and up. So the trick is just to go in between the two layers and from the bottom and up. I'm choosing the mattress stitch because that is the most invisible stitch I know and I think it holds the strength of a poncho. You see, it's not just a whip stitch when you do like this, it's actually a real stitch that has a, a bit of a strength and also invisible. So just keep on mattress stitching all the way down to the bottom of these two granny squares. So when you're all the way at the bottom, we now stitch the two granny squares together. Now you take the third one and put down just beside the other two, so you have three granny squares on a row. You will now attach this one to the other two, so you now have a seam right here and right here. When you make these two seams, you will now fold the row of granny squares just like this. And then you will take the fourth and final granny square and put down on the table. Then you will fold this as well. And then you will attach it to the other three granny squares. And then you will make a seam right here. And of course also on the back side. Be careful not to stitch all the way through because you have to leave it open in the middle. So now you have a stitch right here and right here and the same on the back side and the gap for the head is this right here and you actually have your poncho. You can of course make a row of single crochet or slip stitches all the way uh, on the edge to make it a little bit more even because you will always have these little, little bumps but I absolutely don't think that's necessary. But this is how you do it. I hope you learned how to make a poncho out of granny squares. If you did, please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again soon. Bye!